Hey everybody and welcome to On Stage, the isolation sessions. I'm Fiona Forbes and this is my trusty sidekick, Chewbacca. Now for those who have been watching the show uh, for the past little while, Chewie was not on the program yesterday. He actually had to get some emergency surgery. He's fine as you can see. Uh, found a little tumor in his mouth and Yorkies are not known for their dental hygiene and I knew this was going to happen eventually but I just didn't know it was going to happen during a pandemic but because he had to get a tumor in his mouth removed he also got um, some teeth extracted 17 teeth extracted uh, for those who don't know like myself Yorkies usually have over 40 teeth so it's not that many he's like a little shark that way right Chewy? But he's on the mend and uh, I'm very thankful for that uh, because if somebody pulled out 17 of my teeth, I'd still be crying, but he's also hepped up on the goofballs. Now, like any dog owner, Chewy, his full name is Chewbacca Forbes. Chewy has about a million nicknames. I call him Sir Chewington, uh, Chewballs, Choo Choo. Uh, well, and I think he thinks his name is No Barking, but that's another story. One of my favorite nicknames, and if you're a fan of video games or a child of the 80s like myself, is Chubert instead of Cubert. Now, Cubert was a very popular video game around the time of Pac-Man and Donkey Kong and Frogger. And our director here on On Stage, it's been a tradition between the two of us that he makes weird videos of my dog when I give him a topic. This is, and I haven't seen it yet, this is uh, Cubert or Chubert. <laughs> anybody yeah that's awesome adam anybody else remember that game well there's sir chewington right there uh a little man is on painkillers but he is doing just fine and i can't even begin to tell you that on top of a pandemic having a tumor biopsied by uh the vets is stressing me out but uh hoping it will be benign i'll know next week but he is uh looking well, he's looking like his usually bored self because he's sick of me. He's been with me 24-7 for, I don't know, I've been in quarantine for since about March 4th and I don't know what day it is anymore. Anyway, working from home, that's what we're doing here with On Stage. We moved uh, a camera into my living room with some lighting and our director, Adam, I was just talking about is in his living room directing the show. Our producers are in their homes as well. So it's worked out really well for us and I usually work a lot from home anyway during research for television that sort of thing so it's not that new for me having a TV studio in my living room that's a little weird but uh, it's new and I'm used to it we are all making do and uh, a lot of people have been having a uh, a great time adapting to working from home. Now I'm a news junkie. I alternate between every channel because I like getting different perspectives, love watching local news uh, here in BC, but I also watch uh, the BBC. And uh, there is a weather person on the Beeb, as we call it. And the BBC, by the way, has the best theme music. I forgot to look how long they've had it before, but their theme music sounds like it's from a rave and it's hard not to rock out to it. I, I've always done that uh, since I started watching the BBC, but uh, one of their weather personalities had a great time. His name is Owen Wynn Evans. He's super popular in the UK and this video will will show you why. That's the forecast, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. and it just goes on. I love their theme song. And uh, that's how Owen is working from home by walking out, rocking out to the next level. 
Last I looked this morning, that video he posted on Twitter had over 4 million views. Very, very entertaining. And I have to say, one of the positive things that has come out of this pandemic with all of us going a little nuts at home is having fun making videos. And I'm not huge on the TikTok, uh, but this video was posted on TikTok. Entertaining ourselves is something that we have to do. And some of the videos of people making the best of things are the best. Now, if you've never been to a rave, this is pretty much what it's like when a DJ is getting down. And if you'll notice what's on this woman's table, it's all cleaning products from Febreze to hand sanitizer. She's got some Windex or something on there. But here is another interpretation of the BBC theme song. So funny and now when I watch the BBC because that music is literally on all day all the time about a hundred times that's what I imagine is going on in the background uh, but kudos to everybody who's having fun making the best of uh, being at home in self-isolation uh, the BBC music is just a small example of how people are entertaining themselves uh, and music can make us happier it can bring us therapy and that is why we are partnered with music heals Canada if you want to go to their website there is a ton of information for you there on how music can lift our spirits and if you are one of the folks who might have a little bit of extra money to give doesn't matter how much anything goes uh, there is a donate button there for you as well but please pay them a visit to find out more about how music can heal us and now it is time to get to the music. Uh, joining us from Lake Country in BC is Gord Wilson. Gord, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good under the circumstances uh, that we're all in, Gord. How has the self-isolation life been treating you? Um, to be honest, uh it's been okay. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of things accomplished that I've had hanging around, you know. Um, so I try to look at that as the positive side of it. Uh, and the weather is fairly nice today, so I can't complain, really. <laughs> I know, it's the little things like sunshine that uh, are, help us get through this. Now, Gord, you have such an interesting, deep story. Uh, the first song that we're going to hear from you today is a video that you did, a song called PTSD MSD. It has such a huge story to it, Gord. Uh, maybe you can just tell us, if it is possible, briefly, what, uh, what was going on in your life when you wrote this song and made this video? Well, I guess um, it's a bit of a two-part um, creation. Uh, I had a heart attack in 2018. Um, so, I, in, after it, in recovering, it was uh, very traumatic. And uh, after allowing myself to uh, open up to some medical professionals and you know I was diagnosed with PTSD and uh, it, it, it gave me um, something to relate to I guess and I, I started writing these words and more or less how you know and it, it's probably a lot of people out there you know you're out there in the world and you're, you're just trying to make it and nobody knows what you're what you're going through or what you have been through um, and the more I talked to 
people about it. We're all in the same boat, you know. And uh, so I, I took those words and I, you know, I put them away for a while, and um, I started this music mentorship thing with uh, Creative Okanagan, and I thought they were really good words. I mean, but I had no music for them, and uh, during this process of this mentorship, uh, my mom had a stroke and uh, ended up in a coma in the hospital. Um, but I had to, <laughs> at the same time, get ready for the end of this mentorship with... Um, I guess a, a final creation of a song that we, you know, put all our energy into creating. And uh, while my mom was in her room, I would play my guitar, and there were certain notes that would make her her feet move. And uh, when I start the song and I'm doing that tapping, that's what made her feet move. And uh, I made a note of that, and I just that's where that song started, and it it just really it just kind of wrote itself, and I basically finished it the day of that video, um, my birthday being the next day, and my mom being on our life support. I didn't we. <laughs> Didn't want to take her off life support on my birthday, and going another day, two days longer, would have been too much for her. So I basically arranged it with Creative Okanagan to go do my part. Nobody knew except for one lady, and uh, I did my thing. Even the guy filming it didn't know, and. Uh, I left and then went back to the hospital to meet my sister and my cousin and uh, we just spent the rest of the night with my mom and let her go that evening <laughs> and uh, so yeah it uh, has a very it's a it's a bittersweet moment it's kind of one of those things that uh, it is beautiful, you know, after watching it. It took a long time to, to watch it. So, but now it is a beautiful thing. Yeah, it, there is beauty and sadness and grief, uh, but it does take time to find that. And you have PTSD. You live with PTSD yourself uh, from your heart attack, which was in 2018. Your mom passed in October 2019. Uh, and our whole purpose here is trying to get the message out there how music can help people during times like this. And obviously, Gord, music helped you through what uh, I can't even imagine what a difficult time it was for you. And there are a lot of people out there who are probably dealing with unfamiliar feelings of grief and sadness. What is your message to people on how music can help you through that process, whether you're a musician like yourself or someone like me who just enjoys music? How can it help us? Well, yeah, first off, as a musician, I suppose, um, what I found, you know, there's... I guess more to being a musician than just playing an instrument, you know. Um, I find, and I found in myself that I was a lot better writer than I thought I was, you know, or I had better ideas in my head that I didn't know because I gave myself that opportunity to explore that side of things. And getting those words out really. I find is a healing thing and um, I've played some of these songs in live settings and had people come up to me after and just you know relate to them and uh, which in turn makes me you know think of 
people that I get inspiration from their music, you know, that they've, you know, fought demons or overcome tragedy or grief, you know, um, I think that we all can relate to the tragedy, you know, we don't like to talk about it, but we can all relate to it. And, um, music is that universal language that just could bring us all together, you know, and, uh, I don't know anything else that could heal me, and I don't know where I would be without it. To be, to be perfectly honest, and I never started out writing these songs to think that I'd even be playing them for anybody. You know, um, it was just a personal thing. But once I did play them out, and some people were like, "Maybe you should do something with those because they have some meaning." You know. And, uh, so that's where I'm at with that, you know. Um, well, Gord, yeah. thank you so much for, for sharing your music with us uh, and sharing your story as well. I know some people have a really difficult time talking about this stuff, so thank you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> Oh no, it's a beautiful story. So we're going to hear some of Gord's music right now. The first song is actually the video that he was talking about uh, that he completed and literally went straight to the hospital uh, to say goodbye to his dear mother. The song is called PTSD MSD. The MSD is my sweet darling for his mom. What a beautiful message and you'll hear some more tunes from Gord after that as well. But ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this song from Gord. Stumbling my way along, and to some it may seem like a second hand routine, but the truth is, this is not what I see. For my eyes have been clouded by the change. And the animosity has a nagging, persistent way of wanting more for me. I guess sometimes it's like living in a house that you don't know. No one is ever there or coming home. Oh, but I let you live here next to me, my sweet darling. Misery, oh, I love and I need you. Clarity. 
There's a long dark shadow Just beneath the door And the dog she just won't leave it alone Oh, cause the steps are so heavy Feel each one through the floor and I hear the chime of the bell and I know what this calling is for but I say who are you and I say Darling, misery. Oh, cause I love, yes, I love, and I need your company. And let your wings bleed all over me. And I swear to this hell that I need every drop that you set you free set me free oh set us
Roll the earth, broke heart, left bleed out on the ground. Once I was for that roaming rambling, but now only place I yearn to roam is see your face. Oh, you trade this dusty path for pill that smells of you. As days and months play past, like an old forgotten movie on it. Like a dream. As I recall all the things that were said, loneliness all the time I spent alone. I can honestly say that there ain't enough silver and gold to change its direction, no. Cause every mile of this highway is just another broken heart. This crack in this windshield is really starting to look like the lines on my face. All I can do is pass it, you please hold on. And all I can do is hope that you stay strong. And all I can do is just go and you understand that this is what I gotta do to be a better man for you. Rearranging all the wires and gears inside my brain And maybe 
baby, aren't you dead? The smoke will clear. Pour out the river that my thoughts and decisions mess with and in. A little relief will be so sweet. From the yelling, the screaming, the fighting, and it's
And that was singer-songwriter Gord Wilson. Thank you so much to Gord for joining us on the show today and for submitting his music. If you're a musician and you want to join us on the show, it is super easy. Just go to our website. It's onstagelive.tv and there's an artist submission page for you right there. And we also want to say a shout out and thank you to our friends from Chambers Plan Group Insurance for supporting us uh, so we can work from home here at On Stage. Now, I'll be sure to tune in tomorrow to find out who's on the show. Chewy will be here. Right, Chewbert? <laughs>